Hello and welcome to Adventure Sean, where tonight I'm going to share with you all another fascinating location within my local area. Around 20 minutes away from where I'm based are the Beach Caves, just a few miles outside of the city of Stoke-on-Trent and here in Staffordshire and also right next door to the M6 motorway. In fact, you can just see the traffic whizzing by there. It's currently rush hour this evening uh, on a weekday, so there's quite a lot of traffic and that's what you can hear in the background. But uh, yes, welcome to this vlog, going to share with you all a good detailed look around the beach caves. These date back to 1633 and they're actually man-made as well which is even more fascinating. Now if you are going to come down here to the beach caves uh, you can just park up, uh, there's no admission fee, no turnstiles, no fences around it. Literally you park up at the side of the road and then you can make your way straight down here. But just beware if you are coming here and looking at Google Maps uh, there's no kind of junction off the motorway anywhere near here. Um, you come off a few miles down and then of course you come down some country roads to get here and there's plenty of street parking just on the country lanes here and then of course you're on foot um, here to the caves themselves but yeah the road is literally a couple of hundred yards away from the entrance to the beach cave so yes come and join me as we come and explore this very fascinating place that I first discovered just a few years ago now if you couldn't hear the traffic in the background you'd think that I was in the middle of absolutely nowhere however that really isn't the case of course with the motorway being just there however with these dating back to 1633 I don't think the motorway was around then, do you? Uh, but here they are, the beach caves. And just to give you a bit of an idea on the scale of this, of course, we can walk right down there uh, under these ginormous archways that lead in. And I've already said this a few times in the past few weeks, but it really does upset me to see so much graffiti um, on these locations that I've been to. It is really sad, um, especially, you know, people need to come here and see these um, and enjoy them and take photos. Um, it's a shame when people decide to graffiti on them. But uh, yeah, like I say, these are man-made and believe to have uh, to date back to 1633 um, that's when the caves were first started to be excavated um, now there was a man called Roger Lowe who was paid 22 pence per score to remove 130 feet of stone from the site and that was on the 31st of August 1633 and now what we're looking at here is a site what actually extends back 2400 square meters so yeah you really get a good idea on just how big um, the beach caves actually are here of course we're going to head down there into the caves in just a second and you have got to be really careful there is a sign on there just saying you know danger be careful if you come in here I'll show you that sign in just a moment um, but yeah I just wanted to give you a bit of an idea of how many different entrances there are and yeah exactly how all of this looks around here but what we're going to do firstly is head around to the front before we actually get inside the caves but yeah you can tell how all this was kind of dug out of the side fascinating isn't it and you can see how of course over the years there's been other bits of work that have actually been done here to block certain sections in I believe it was used by the military at one point as well and yeah we come right down here and this really gives you an idea on the size and scale of all of this but like I said I'm going to take you around the front just here first and we'll kind of come back on ourselves in through the main entrance if you like I'll show you the warning sign down there because like I say when you come in somewhere like this you are entering at your own risk oh listen to that echo and like I say 2400 square meters it goes pretty far back in there so if you are coming here you want a torch of course I've got night vision here on this camera so we're all good but yeah looking forward to having a bit of an explore back there oh it's a creepy place so here's the road what I was talking about just in terms of where you can park up on. You could just pull up out the front here. However, the road actually winds up a little bit further down there. So that's where I've parked. Sun's just starting to go down over there. Another gorgeous evening. This time here in Staffordshire for this adventure to come and share with you all the beach caves. And yeah, like I said, just it's such a shame that all the graffiti is on the front here. In fact, I've not been here for about a year, I'd say. And uh, yeah, you know, it's a shame even more graffiti has appeared. But yeah, look at this absolutely incredible now there's the signage at the top just there just saying danger keep out persons entering these caves do so at their own risk but like i say it does say danger keep out like i say you're just going to be really careful if you are coming down here um, you are allowed to go in them there's no fences there's nothing like that um, but yeah you just need to be very careful as we make our way down this way i mean this place has got so much history to it the fact that you look at all these bricks here they're a lot newer of course um you know they don't date back hundreds of years so yeah like i said I believe it was used um, as some form, something to do with the military um, at some point. But just before we head down there, I just thought I'd show you this large section here. Of course, you can see how it's all been hand carved out. It's an incredible place, honestly, it really is. But shall we uh, delve a little deeper, shall we, and actually step inside? the beach caves. And I don't think there's anybody else here this evening. Normally when you come down here, of course you can tell if there's somebody here. 
oh, it gets so eerie as soon as you walk inside. Can you imagine if like, somebody just jumped out from around that corner or something now? <laughs> be terrifying, wouldn't it? Got like an old mattress down here as well. To be honest, that was here last time. It was in a different location, but yeah, look at that, like an old spring mattress. And as soon as you step down in here, you can still hear the motorway in the distance, but in a way that makes it even more creepy, to be honest, because you can just hear all that life and then you're just in here on your own. And there's a look back up to where we started the vlog, just at the top there. So it gives you a good idea on the scale. And like I say, 2,400 square meters. So this goes back pretty far. It gets even creepier the further that you walk into the beach caves and you just see that main door get further and further away from you and it gets even darker down here. Um, but with the beach caves, they've actually been used for various different activities over the years. Uh, there was a lot of illegal raves that actually used to happen down here um, back in the 70s and 80s. Uh, and then of course, there's been all sorts of people that just come down here and camp and um, spend evenings down here, have a few beers, have a few drinks. And you know what? I think that's okay doing that, but it's when people start, um, you know, graffiti all over the walls and things that's when it gets pretty sad but yeah there was a lot of rays a lot of activities down here back in the um in the 70s and 80s i believe when i was reading up more of the history of the beach caves but i'm going to switch you over to night vision shortly as we explore down in this bottom section it's pretty dark down here right then so we're now into night mode so we can see a little bit clearer unfortunately so much graffiti it's really sad but yeah look at these two towers just here of course that have been built out of some newer bricks Gotta be really careful where you're treading around here as well, because there's all sorts. Like we've got another like mattress just there, there's bottles around. You never know what you could find somewhere like this, you know, especially when it's an open site. There's no opening hours for something like this. People just come down here. What we got there? We've got some utterly butterly. Someone's been having a, a nice sandwich down here, it seems. But yeah, like, look at this. You've got another little tower at the back just there. Can hardly hear the road back here now. And yeah, it's just really fascinating just to see how it's been excavated out, to be honest. Uh, if we come down this section here, I mean, there's so much rubble on the floor, you gotta be really careful. Yeah, look at this, it's kind of like they started digging further and further, but then all of a sudden they just stopped. That's kind of how it feels like with, with this section here. Of course, we've got a, a good torch as well, which you want when you come in and have a little explore around places like this. I love it though, I thrive for just coming and discovering new places, it is fascinating. But yeah, there's so much rubbish about it, you've got to be really, really careful where you tread. What's this here, like a big, big pipe just there? It's just really fascinating, the history of this place, what's happened in here over these hundreds of years. You've got like another brick wall just over there. Oh, we've got a little campfire that someone's been having here. Yeah, I can imagine lots of people have camped down here over the years. This is probably the deepest part of the beach caves, just here actually. And it's quite hard to see because obviously it's really dark up there, even though I've got the torch on and night mode. But yeah, it just keeps going further back. What a fascinating place. You can hear literally nothing else down at the end here now. We're at the furthest point away from the door. Big skull on the wall just there. So much rubble about. Really want to make sure that, you know, you're watching where you're treading. Coming somewhere like this. I just love to have seen pictures of what this was like. I mean, I've tried doing loads of research. Unfortunately, there's not loads of information about the beach caves, which is a shame to be honest, because it's a fascinating place to come. But yeah, like all these brick walls obviously were a newer installation. I'd say they've still been here for many years, but of course these were newer. Absolutely fascinating. But yeah, so I'm at the furthest away point now from the doors. In a way, I see something like this and it feels like a, a waste. Can you imagine this being turned into something? Like, it could be amazing down here. Still keep it accessible because it's, a, it's part of history in the local area, but yeah, absolutely stunning. Now we're getting a little bit further into the light. I'm gonna take us out of night mode now. So here you can see some of the original flooring, it seems, like some sort of tiles over the years, of course. Lots of them have been taken up, maybe stolen, I'd say, as well. But yeah, you can kind of see some of them original tiles all down the side. 
And of course, that's where we've just been. Well, you can't fully see right down there where it's pitch black. <laughs> yeah, good torches are needed. Got this little ramp just over here as well. There we go, you can see more of them tiles just there. Someone's been having a Stella down here. Come on guys, could have took your, uh, took your litter home. That looks like it's part of, a, part of a firework there. It is part of a firework, there we go. Magic Comet. Yeah, so someone's been setting off fireworks down here as well. I'd say what I have seen down here, which is really positive though, I've seen some fantastic photography, what people have done down here before, like doing um, light paintings, which is pretty fascinating. Down here at the Beach Caves in Staffordshire. Like I say, we're only a few miles outside of Stoke-on-Trent. We're gonna head up there shortly, go and have a little look on that top section. I've took you into the deepest part of the caves, but thought we'll go and check out that bit and kind of go round up on top as well, where you get some great views. But there you go. Yeah, it's very eerie, especially when you come down here on your own. First time I've been down here on my own, actually, but uh, I normally come down here with people. But yeah, what a fascinating place. A little, little area there. Of course, there was like loads of little rooms, it seems, all within these caves that were built. But you imagine the amount of man hours that I had to go into excavating all of this. Really is incredible. Right, we're going to head back outside this way and round to the top now. I'm going to show you some of them other areas. Ooh. <laughs> so this is quite funny. I was just walking back out of the caves as soon as I turned that clip off and there was a couple of other people walking inside and they got pretty scared when they just saw me emerging out. They both jumped, which was pretty funny. Um, anyway, we're going to have a little look around this section just here now, up at the top end of the beach caves. It really makes you appreciate how much work went into actually excavating this by hand back in 1633. Pretty incredible, isn't it? Imagine them just chiseling away. But yeah, this section here has got like, these little steps that come down. I'd love to have just seen this, exactly how it was set up down here, especially if the military were using it. Um, like, would this have all been blocked in at the side? Would there have been maybe metal sheeting in place down here? I mean, you know, it looks like some sort of windows maybe across. I'm not too sure, but yeah, I mean, you look at all this here, it's definitely like it was blocked in. Of course, if it was used for the military at, at some point, um, then it couldn't have just been left open. And then you look on the wall there, you've got all the marks. Zoom in towards their marks just over there, which is really interesting. And it's all the different shapes inside here as well. Like this section here looks to me like it could have been where a vehicle could have been parked. I mean, you look at this here, pretty flat, isn't it? Could maybe a vehicle have been brought in here and, and stored in, in this area, of course. It's like, you know, it's been cut out just for the shape of something. Really, really interesting place. But yeah, I'm going to have one more look just down this section. Then we're going to head up on top pretty high up here when you look down to that bottom section where I was previously. And you can just tell here, like the shape of various different rooms, like just in the floor in there, maybe five or six rooms just in this section. Absolutely incredible. And again, this section here really raised up really high. Fascinating, all the different entrances as well. Honestly, I would love to have seen exactly what this was used for and exactly how long it took to be excavated. Nobody seems to have loads of information about this, but it's fascinating. Yeah, what a great place. When I first saw this a couple of years ago for the first time, I thought I've got to come down here and see it. But just before we wrap up this adventure, just gonna head back on top just over here. So we started the vlog just over here to the left gonna head up this way now on top and just see if there's much to see up here because I've not been here for a good few years on top so let's go and have a little look tell you what we can see though that's the M6 just over there <laughs> so you wouldn't think it but where I'm standing now is actually directly above the caves they head all underneath this field just here which is pretty fascinating isn't it you wouldn't think that oh there'd just be fields on top of it but yeah there's a little pathway that's been created just on top here so we can walk along here but like i said if you come in here with little ones be really careful uh, because of course some pretty steep drops off the side so from here it gives you a pretty good idea on just high up these caves go inside i was stood down the bottom there just i mean looking down there it gives you a good idea this is probably what 40 50 feet up i'd say if not a little bit more possibly. But yeah, the entrance of the caves, the main entrance is just directly below where I am. The sign is just kind of on the wall out the front there. So yeah, you get some pretty impressive views looking out over the wonderful Staffordshire countryside and then the motorway there in the middle. You can just see a nice little stream down there though. 
Yeah, it gives you a really good idea on the height of these, but yeah, you'd expect it not to look like this above. The fact they go back pretty far, I'd say really the caves are maybe going back as far as maybe the third tree along just here. So yeah, all of this section, really interesting. Oh, there's a the couple of people that are scared down there just <laughs> when I walked out. I should have made a loud noise or something really. But yeah, how interesting. Gonna head back down this way to the car and we'll wrap up another adventure here on this channel. Watch out for the holly bush. <laughs> What another fascinating place to come and explore. Honestly, the past few weeks has been great to actually get back out there, seeing some different places and sharing those adventures with you all on this channel. So thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, check out the three other new videos that have all gone online here on Adventure Sean over the past few weeks. Um, I went to Thor's Cave. That was absolutely incredible in the stunning Peak Districts. Along with that as well, went to a Tom Cruise filming location for Mission Impossible 7. Something a little bit different, so check that one out and also went to the Black Rocks as well, just outside of Matlock Bath and Cromford. That was another great place to go. So thanks for joining me. Brand new videos every Friday here on this channel, along with some of the bonuses along the way as well. So thank you very much for joining me. And uh, yeah, that leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and have your own adventures. See you all in the next vlog.